Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Like the wind I go, and like a man I come, Zephyr is here. And today, I have come to review a game called Endless Dungeon to see if it's worth playing during your downtime. Developed by Amplitude Studios and published by Sega, Endless Dungeon is a rock-like tactical action game set in Amplitude Studio Endless Universe. It was just another 9 to 5 job where you were busy keeping the floor of the space vessel all shiny. When out of the blue, the vessel you were in was pulled out from space warp and lay bare in front of a massive platform. The vessel gets pulled until it slams onto the massive structure head first, killing everyone but you. With nothing better to do, you explore this mysterious place. You will discover that you are not the only one in this structure. Together with your new companion, you will open every door and explore every level in a bid to escape to freedom. And that is what Endless Dungeon is all about. It embraces the idea of its predecessor, Dungeon of the Endless, and reworked the entire gameplay from a 2D tower defense experience into an isometric 3D tower defense. The beautiful sci-fi graphics, intense wave of horde, and the amazing sound design makes Endless Dungeon a fun game to play. The gameplay loop is exactly the same as the first game. You open every door until you find the door to the next area. Escort the crystal bot to open it and protect it from harm. And for that, you need to place down some turrets, research new turrets, and manually kill everything that is coming your way. It is fun and intense. There are a handful of fun characters for you to pick, each with their own unique skills. Even if you are playing alone, the AI are competent enough to help you get through the entire game provided you pick the right build. They are also capable of using their skills actively and defend an area to the best of their abilities. Yet the same AI is not all powerful, for they don't know how to use their ultimate skills and are not capable of maneuvering in tiny areas, resulting in them taking damage unnecessarily when they should be dodging. Despite this, the AI sometimes prove to be a more capable companion than playing with others in multiplayer. As fun as the gameplay is, Endless Dungeon could certainly use more polishing, not only in the paving department, but also their map design. This problem mostly occurs in the final floor of the game, where there will be an invisible wall in places where you least expected. The UI could also use some rework in my opinion, as when you are back at the saloon, I prefer to have a single button for me to press to open all of the facilities available instead of running all over the place. Sure, this would break the immersion of the game, but having it as an option would be a great convenience. The major problem I have with Endless Dungeon is their turrets, and this stems from their previous game, as the range of the turrets in the previous game is as big as any room that they are in. Whereas the range of the turret in Endless Dungeon, the range varies from one turret type to another. To me, I feel like the turrets in this game got nerfed. My guess is that by doing so, the game lets the players and the AI have an active role in defending the crystal board. This makes the gameplay more fun, engaging, and up close and personal as compared to passively defending purely with turrets. Endless Dungeon is a fun tower defense experience in both single player and multiplayer mode. Despite the complaints I have with the game, I do enjoy playing the game. I like how pretty the game looks, the character designs are quirky, and most importantly, the gameplay. Despite it being a roguelike game, it is not that hard to complete the game. Sure, you will take a couple of tries to complete a single run, it provides a decent enough challenge to keep you on your toes. And if you are able to convince a couple of friends to get this game and play with you, you will have an enjoyable action tower defense experience altogether. And that ladies and gentlemen is Endless Dungeon, and the game is available on the PC, PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, Android and Xbox Series X and S. 
you can get the game for $30 or based on your region GDP. Can I recommend you getting Endless Dungeon for $30 for you to play during your downtime? Although I can recommend getting the game for its gameplay, I cannot recommend getting it due to its price tag. It may be worth it if Endless Dungeon does not have the issues I pointed out earlier. But if you don't mind them and want something nice to play with your friends or by yourself, you can consider giving this game a try. My name is Zephyr, like the wind I go, and like a man I come, and it's time for me to go. Thank you for watching all the way to the end, and if you enjoyed the review, do consider subscribing to the channel as it will help me out a lot. Stay safe, have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya!